you can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. Thank you for joining us for Eyewitness News at noon. I'm Latrice Curry. Developing news, the woman charged in the fatal hit and run of a Chattanooga police officer has turned herself in. She was just in court a few minutes ago. Channel 3's Michelle Heron is there and brings us an update. Michelle. Latrice, that bond hearing just wrapped up a couple of minutes ago where the judge set a $300,000 bond for Janet Hines. She is also ordered to be on house arrest and a judge said that she is not to be driving. Now, her attorney, Ben McGowan, did call it all a tragic accident and said that weather was a significant factor in that crash. I also spoke to the attorney who said that she did not mean to hit Officer Nicholas Geringer on uh, late Saturday night. Now, the judge said that she should have stopped and said that that was a factor as to why she set that bond so high. One thing that was interesting is that a lot of the judges are in a judges conference, and so that was one of the reasons why this hearing happened so quickly to set that bond. So again, if you're just joining us, Janet Hines, the woman facing nine charges, including vehicular homicide in the crash con in connection to killing a Chattanooga police officer over the weekend, was just given a $300,000 bond. Her attorney told me a little bit earlier this morning that they are working to meet that. And of course, we will keep you guys updated on this story. For now, reporting live in Hamilton County, I'm Michelle Heron for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All righty, thank you, Michelle, for that live report there from the courtroom. All right, let's go to Channel 3's Tanisha, Cord Tanisha Cordell, who is live from where the suspect's car was located yesterday. Tanisha, what are neighbors saying about all of this? Well, Latrice, everyone is absolutely shocked. Everyone I talked to here in the neighborhood say they cannot believe Janet Hines. They're someone who they call a close neighbor was the driver behind that hit and run that killed Officer Gallinger. One man I spoke to says he suspected that Hines could have been the driver just matching uh, the description of her car that he's seen parked in her home, as you see behind me again with the description that was given from police. And long behold, his, his suspicion was correct. He watched as police roped off their home or Heinz's home again as you see behind me and found that same white Honda CVR that was involved in that hit and run many neighbor and yards that we see here in the neighborhood still are littered with crime scene tape from that night when police found the car as well now again that same neighbor I spoke to says he's calling the, the incident tragic for both uh, Officer Gallinger's family himself and Heinz herself as well but he says he's relieved and happy that Heinz turned herself in I mean, you didn't even know she lived there hardly. Uh, uh, like I say, we've been here for years, and they've been there for many years also. Just a great neighbor, a great person. Again, everyone I spoke to say she's she, uh, Heinz was a great neighbor indeed. They, ne they never had any problems, pretty much kept to herself, lived here at one point with her two sons and a boyfriend, I'm told. We have reached out to family members through social media. We have not heard back yet. We'll keep you posted if I hear anything else. We're now live in Hamilton County. Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All righty, Tanisha, thank you so much for that live report. And again, that was Tanisha Cordell there. And we spoke with Michelle Heron, who was live in the courtroom where Janet Hines had her bond hearing earlier this morning. All right, time now.